Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Jeremy, founder of QuickMail.io. Hey, and this is Jack, chief lead generation officer of salespread.com. Uh, Today? A special teardown. 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 Yeah. A special teardown episode. Why? Because uh, both of the emails we'll be tearing down are unique in that they are very, very long, and they both got us to reply, Jeremy yeah, and I, respectively. Crazy. crazy. I mean, there's no insults. <laughs> that's right yeah yeah we we reply to think both with interest which uh holy cow doesn't happen that often well, so yeah. so just to Stretch. highlight so each of these emails has more than 250 words a pop um which looks like half of a google doc page and and we're talking uh actual paragraphs it, it reads like a high school essay and it still well, worked. I so, think you can uh, maybe share your screen for the listeners on YouTube and for the one on the podcast. Then yeah, Jack right. uh, is going to put you to sleep by just reading it. <laughs> <with his name. laughs> no kidding. It It is a long one. It is. It's huh? a long one. And if you're driving, um, I hope you're in a self-driving car because you're going <laughs> to be falling asleep at the wheel here. No, you won't. Um, Hopefully, really quickly, you'll see why they got us to reply. Um, what clever, clever things they did. Uh, but first, a, a quick word from our sponsor. Salesbread will bring you one lead per day. Go to salesbread.com slash contact if you want help with your outbound lead gen efforts. Short and sweet today. Jeremy, right. you got one? Wow, wow. You, you, you surprised me on this one. Well, <laughs> I'm going to make it short and sweet as usual for me. If you want a good uh, cold email outreach system, um, that you can run on autopilot that helps your team uh, producing a lot of leads uh, for different clients. Um, go to quickmail.io and um, give it a go. Uh, short and sweet. All right. Short and sweet. Can't be beat. 99, 100. Okay. So what is the, <laughs> hold on. Can you grab me the subject line? Let's start with oh, that. Oh, I forgot the subject line. Shucks. Ooh, shame on me. All right, yeah. so the subject line was sales enablement m and opportunity. Long, boring ass subject line. Did, did you say NMA? No, m and like merge and acquisition. m and Yeah. All right. I don't like jargon don't as well. It's like, why did they put that? Okay, I'm going to read this. Uh, um, and uh, if I go longer than 15 minutes, Jeremy, yeah, just nudge me or something. Okay. It says, hi, Jeremy. I hey, hope all's well. Jack, sorry. Maybe we could actually just do it as a per, you know, per section. So, you know, in order mm. to spice it up. Good idea. And maybe we'll break this podcast into four different 30 minute <laughs> chunks. We're just I'm reading it like volume it one. Long. <laughs> <laughs> the audio book. <laughs> God. Oh, God. Yeah. Our sponsors are going to drop us, Jeremy. Yeah, we're, that's we're true. Having, careful, having careful. All right. So here we go. Um, it reads, first section. Hi, Jeremy. I hope all's well. I'm sure you may have seen the news, but we, PSG, recently made an investment into Lucia. CPR here. PSG invests in Lucia with a hyperlink. Holy hell. All At right. this stage, I was already like, what the hell? You know, it's just like, it's mm. weird. Um, it's probably not a, a typical intro. I'm not sure why I carried on reading it. I don't think I did, actually. I think I my eyes skipped very quickly to different paragraphs to see what is it really about. Yeah. You know, like maybe you even skipped all the way down to the bottom. But okay. I think I did skip to the CTA, then skip back because I didn't understand the CTA. So this one actually made me work. I don't know why, why I left it for. I actually worked so long on this one. It must have caught me in a moment of weakness or something like that. Oh, fair. All right. Well, I got a reply. So um, it appears that they led with a news article that they were they uh, invested in Lucio. Which yeah, and I was like, I don't it's care. Sales data, right? <laughs> yeah, right. I was. I don't care. It did. It didn't make sense. So I will rewrite it by changing some of the paragraph and order to make like more impactful mm -hmm. one. But yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So if you follow the ADA copywriting formula, attention, interest, desire, action, they led with um, interest instead of attention. So interest is like facts, something 
yeah. uh, newsworthy. They they should have said we might be able to buy quick mail in the next 12 to 18 months, period. We, and then interest would be, we just uh, invested heavily into Lucia, fact oh, here, like desire. We like quick mail because whatever, whatever, call to action. Are you open to talking numbers? Boom. I do remember actually so I was looking for quick mail. Contact. <laughs> yes, exactly. In the email, I was right. looking at, right. um, at quick mail because I was like, oh, well, this quick mail mentioned as, as oh man, it was terrible. I, what? Where on earth did I reply? Anyway, Jeremy, I, 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 I should have gone better. like I, I have like my combo keys, like I press V for yeah. changing folder, you know, oh, moving right. into folder, yeah. and I say CO for cold email, and then I press enter. Uh, Usually, this is like tick, 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 four keys, and it's yeah. gone. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know what goes yeah. through my, All right. my mind. We're going to carry on. Otherwise, uh, this will be an audiobook. All right. So it says, we are conducting a roll-up strategy within the sales prospecting enablement and intelligence space and have identified QuickMail as a perfect fit for us thesis with Lucia. I've been conducting research in the space and continue to hear and read about positive feedback regarding QuickMail. So I wanted to of reach course. out and learn more about you and the business, of course. To be more precise, we are specifically looking at software point solutions that, come on, point solutions, software that... Focus on different aspects of the larger market, particularly email tracking management and prospect data. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> but okay. Uh, they did something good here. I am playing in the en enabling, enablement, sales prospecting and intelligence an space. Right? Yes. Yeah. So I, I give them kudos for that. Definitely, you know, it's not really hard to look at whoever is in the ecosystem and then reach out to them. So at least, you know, I think they did part of the homework like yeah i feel i feel like i'm in that group yeah okay that's fine yeah i'm in that group but but let's be honest what they may have done and and maybe i'm not giving due credit um quick mail is a standout tool and maybe they they were really looking at good you know tools with good reviews but you could go to crunchbase and type in sales enablement as a category and yeah. then just g companies that are showing signals yeah, that they are think about it right? um this is basically we still don't know yet <laughs> Bear in mind, but this is an email yeah. to say, "Hey, we want to buy quick mail." Okay, and so um, two hundred and seventy-seven words. Of course, yeah, uh, <laughs> you need some time for that. But um, damn, I missed my point. Uh, too much fluff today. Um, pip, pip, pip. Bear in mind, back. this is an email. Yeah, this is an email. They presented it. Um, interest quick mail. Ah, it'll come back. For now, let's yeah. carry on. Yeah. Um, uh, it says, to be clear, we do not have strict requirements on revenue or profitability for add-on acquisition. It's more about the strategic fit with one of our portfolio companies that particularly holds true with Lucia and its M&A strategy. That's the one. It's actually, uh, you know, uh, it makes sense um, as a strategy acquisition. What did they actually say? It like... What do you say? A strategic, oh yeah, strategic acquisition. And so, you know, I don't care if they get the whole list of crunch base for that particular segment because that means that this is the segment they want to go into. Yeah. And they aren't like that many player that are good as or as good as uh, quick metal, yeah. you True. know, in that space. True. So in that Fair. sense, uh, when you hear like it's strategical, strategical buyer then it makes much more sense to have a conversation than it is like someone who just looked to do, you know, return on, you know, p &L, whatever kind of thing, right? I think you're right. Um, okay, we'll carry so that's on That's why here. I don't care if this is automated that way. No, I no, no, and, and again, um, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm always trying to f like see through the campaign. How, where did they start and why did I end up on their outreach list? Um, so, it isn't to knock what they've done. I think, the, like you said, the folks that ended up on this list probably should, should be talking to them if they're interested in selling. Um, it's just maybe an interesting point of where this may, may have started from if I was building that list, but we'll carry on. PSG yeah. has an established track record with roll-up strategies. To give you some context. Okay, so by the way, everything that I'm going to read from now on should be a follow-up email. This oh, is yeah. way too much for the it's first like one. Three emails already. Ugh, yeah. So, but let's pretend this is a follow-up. To give you some context of what we're up to, we're working on this strategy with the same team that did our deal in ministry brands, a business grew from 10 million ARR, 
slash two M E B I T D A for yeah. interest tax deferred annulment. I don't know what that is. Yeah, uh, to 400 million ARR, 185 million EBITDA in 18 months via organic and inorganic growth, 25 plus acquisitions in that time frame. We gained a 14x return on investment along with every single founder involved in the acquisition that rolled equity. Oh boy, it's just it's just a lot. And, and, and you know, it's it's good stuff, but at this point, um that's how I took it. Someone who has really interesting information, but it's like very poorly presented in as a cool outreach. No copywriting skills. Yeah. Yeah. A boring way to tell someone they've won the lottery. All right. So it says, oh my God, this is going to kill me. And and hopefully you're listening. It should kill you too, because it's um, a passive CTA. It says, you can find more information about our fund and portfolio here. Link, please let me know if you have a few minutes to speak. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Jeez. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it's going to work, right? You replied to it. You're telling someone. I replied with curiosity, you. not necessarily yeah. with interest. Um, and actually, if um, I think my reply uh, was something, my first line of my reply is, hey, I'm not interested in VC money and working for, for someone else. You know, that's basically because his whole paragraph about like, we took your business from this to this and so on. I was like, right. dude, I'm not interested in, you know, getting money funded. And so I even yeah. like misunderstood, you know, what they actually wanted. <laughs> Right. It's not your fault, right? You've got uh not how many seconds did you Jack? consider this? Well, no, no, no. Think about something. How many seconds did you consider this before you hit reply? 30? 20? Probably 20, yes. Yeah. Because I had to figure okay. out like I still wasn't very clear what it was. In fact, I still wasn't very clear what it was, but I appreciated like that those were like you know, good data, good, you know, good thing like that. So I just told him like, I'm not, you know, I'm not interested for, you know, getting money and so yeah. on. And so he replied uh, something along the lines Wait, of, got it all wrong. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, oh, it's funny. He then pushed for a call. He said, I understand. Are you available for a call this week or next week? It will be helpful to discuss uh, blah, 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 blah. Blah, and then blah, 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 blah. I'm available, whatever. I was like, dude, I'm still not interested. But anyway. Yep. Um, so yeah, it took okay. way too long. I didn't quite get it. It's confusing. Um, weak CTA. Weak CTA. It's like this. It's like this strong, really strong information here. It's just really super badly presented. It's buried. And, yeah, right. it's buried. It's confusing. Um, could do a much better world. So obviously, the obvious one. Yes, it's a long email. Uh, it doesn't. It it didn't need to be that long. You know, it could well have been like follow ups. Right. So right. probably like three emails from what I can see. Really quick. I just want to do a terrible version of a cleanup. Um, our um, email here. We're looking for strategic acquisition in the space of, you know, sales, prospecting, enablement, and intelligence. Right. Quick mail seems to be a perfect fit. We heard a good thing about it. Are you open to? How you open to uh, to sell it, uh, and exactly what I was about to do is putting like as a PS, you know, PS. This is one of our latest acquisition. Uh, you can check it out with this article. That's pretty much all he needed. Mm -hmm. I like it. So you change it with, "Are you open to selling in the next five years?" This is much better. This is much better right. because it's like so the oh, big idea is just like long term vision. You know. Yeah. yeah. And also get out of your own way. Like you've got enough good things going on. Don't muck it up by oversharing, over uh, complicating things. So just why quick mail? And what do you want them to do? Like what's the ask? And then, yeah, like here's a nice social proof. We just bought Lucia or something. And yeah. It's a bit you, of, uh, you know, dying by information overload, right? Right. So, so we mentioned this 22nd thing, and maybe this is like a, a rule, like the 22nd rule is whoever you call email, at best, they're going to consider your message for 20 seconds. Did you include 
too much information to consume in 20 seconds? If so, pare it down, split it up. That's what follow-ups are for. Yep. What would you say? um, I don't think we need to do a second one. This episode is taking too long. So maybe we'll do another, uh, you know, another episode for the next one. Um, Right. What would you actually say to people who say, but it works? It can work better. Yeah. It can work better. It almost lost you. It did. Yeah. And and think about how many prospects saw this and we're like, I don't, yeah, I don't want VC money. Uh, I'm not, I'm not even going to reply to tell them that. I'm just, I think this is a terrible tragedy is that I thought it was something else. (laughs) Yeah. So, right. Right. Uh, Neat. So we can cap it here for now. I, I do think there's, enough good good takeaways here um what do you think jeremy should we s- split up the next tear down to part two i think so um yeah especially but i think so but i would say can we just rewrite or reread what we would have transformed it to like can you yeah sure thing put us to sleep for good all right, <laughs> <laughs> all right. uh Certainly. So I'm not, so again, this was a 60 second rewrite here, but it says, Hey, Jeremy, we are conducting a roll-up, stra- a roll-up strategy. That's yeah, buzzword. Uh, yeah. So how about this? How about this? Um, we've been purchasing uh, companies, software companies. Let's do that. Software companies within the sales prospecting enablement and intelligence space um, e.g. Lucia, and I've identified QuickMail as a perfect fit um, for our thesis with Lucia. I don't really know what that means or referring to Me neither. for our next acquisition. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I've, okay. After, after conducting research in the space, I continue to hear and read about positive feedback regarding quick mail. And then I'll say on Captera and Facebook, whatever. Um, so I wanted to reach out and learn more about you and the business. Okay. It's not awful. Um, to be more, how about this? Learn more about your exit goals and maybe, um, and your business um, growth history, perhaps? I don't know. Yes, no, Jeremy? Uh, exit goals is pretty good. Okay, um, so let's just- And your business that. needs, potentially, or your, and your current business goals. needs, whatever, you know. Or, and your current- Or envision futures for your business or something. There like you that, go. Right? I'm going to say vision because needs may be like, Yes. You know, what do you know, stranger? I don't have any needs or whatever. I don't know. You know, we, we <laughs> want to be defensive. Not you, but people in general. So it says, to be more precise, we're looking specific at software points. Okay. No point solution jargon, unless that's a thing in SaaS and I haven't heard of it. Um, Me neither. We're software that focuses on, on. I'm going to How about, delete you know, to be precise, market. we're looking for synergies or something like that, you know, something pretty like synergies between all the acquisitions, you know, something simple. How about and, the software synergies that focuses, that focus on email tracking management and prospect data? That's cool. Oh, At the same time, I think like we don't even need this, this, this paragraph, honestly, do we? To complement our um, invest. Our, let's say, Four partners, yeah. partners in email tracking, management, prospect data. Yeah, we we definitely don't need it. Yeah, I think that's cool. Let's let's ax it. Okay. And Access. then I think that's that's cool. Are you open to selling it in the next five years? Signatures. P.S. Here's uh, an article about our recent acquisition, something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. And, no, and then it's like, oh, here's CPR the interesting here. thing. As I, has I actually, you know, told him, uh, you know, um, not really interested kind of thing and so on. He did, um, he did mention that they actually conducted 350 company acquisition in the last seven years. Man, 
Why is it not in the email? How many? How many? 350 company acquisitions. Because, you know, I was curious. So I just asked him like, hey. Um, okay, so there's the first line. We've been, we've purchased. We've... In the last seven years, in the last seven years, we purchased, you know, 350 companies. But it's not necessarily within the sales, you know, prospecting enablement and stuff like that. But, but still, that's a good, idea. that's a good, good one. And, uh, and then the, the PS could be, or recent purchase was Lucia for X number of millions, because it was. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Lucia, right, for the amount for X million. There you go. Okay. That's way better. Passes the 22nd test and it's going to get a reply. It's a lot clearer and it's a direct CTA that doesn't assume these people are ready to sell tomorrow or even interested. Right. But, but maybe in five years that that's going to open a lot more doors in my opinion. And look, yeah, and this and is if a, it's still, if, it's if a long just, sales cycle. So that's right. If you just want to filter it to something quicker, you could just say like, are you open to, you know, sell uh, before the end of 2022 and it's fine. You could re reach, you know, reach out to that person again in, in two years. Um, I think that still works. Yeah. I would almost do like a, yeah a two-pronged approach where you say open to selling in the next five years. And then when people say yes, in the next, you know, I'm looking to sell immediately, they go here next three years. Okay, cool. I'll reach back out in a year to see what's new. And then yeah. people that say no, they get a message in five years time. You know what That's I mean? That's fine. Yeah. I was thinking of like, they needed to get it now kind of thing. And so that them who will then pre-filter the founder who are ready to sell right now, but I think that's cool. It's pretty okay. good. Good job. Good stuff. Yeah, I like it. Uh, for more, course.quickmail.io is where we put our best of the um, cold email ideas, right? Any word on that, Jeremy? Yeah, so basically, if you don't want to look at all our last 200x episodes, 220-something episodes, and you want something neatly organized and going through a series of eight weeks to really become really good at cold outreach, I think you can go yeah. for the course. I think that's everything neatly organized uh, in, a, in a way that uh, will help you every week to progress. And I think that's yeah. you know in a better way organized than the podcast and i think that's um yeah. yeah i think that's good for that um thanks jeremy yeah pro tip if you're in sales we've seen a lot of companies happily purchasing this for their um cold email reps sdrs bdrs that kind of thing so uh, maybe find out if the company's got a budget for uh professional learning this yeah, definitely like falls that. under it and uh they're probably going to be impressed with what you're able to do after you uh, check out the course. So with that, thank you, Jeremy, for uh, yet another fun teardown. Yeah, thanks. Sorry we didn't do the teardown for your one, but we should do it next time. Next time. All, All right. right, man. Take See care. you guys. Bye, Jeremy. Thanks, thank you. you.